Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, August 30th. I'm going to try a shape I haven't done in many years. It's called an albarello, A-L-B-A-R-E-L-L-O. And it's from the Italian Renaissance. And it was used um, in uh, apothecary shops for holding ingredients for, for medicines. And there's a couple of different theories about the shape. Uh, one is that the shape is based on sections of bamboo, which would have held some of the ingredients coming on the, the Silk Road from Asia. Anyway, the other is just that it's it's just massively convenient if you've got a bunch of these on a shelf. Because as you'll notice, there's there's a space in there. So if you had a bunch of these side by side, there's a space for your fingers when it's time to pull one of these jars out. Now the when you look them up, they're gonna be under Italian Renaissance and they're going to be lavishly colored often with uh, explanations of what each holds and what I'm hoping to do here instead is to use this um, specifically wood fire clay this is Simon Levin's um, True Grit anyway trying to adapt these for use in a wood fuel kiln where theoretically the, the ash and the fire will do all the, the decorating rather than me with a brush. Now part of the trick of this form is that ideally, and I'm not quite getting it right, the bottom and the top match well enough that you could sort of turn them over and they would still take up the same space. In our own culture, you know, I'm not expecting to sell these to apothecary shops. I have no idea uh, who's going to end up using these shapes. Uh, obviously, they have some potential for, for storage, but they don't have a lid. And potentially they could be uh, flower bases. But I'm not going to worry about it at this point. I'm trying to trying to come up with some shapes that perform well in a wood firing. Anyway, look it up, Albarello. They're great pots. Sort of unfortunate that they're not common in our society right now. Have a good evening.